Hi everyone. Uh, today I'm here with Patrick who works in our art department as a teacher aide. And did you know that Patrick's had a really long um, history with art through his career, both from school right through to now, and is still in the space of learning about art. So Patrick, tell us um, a little bit about how you became a teacher aide in the arts area here at Launceston College. Yeah, sure, great. It's been quite a, a long and interesting journey actually. So I've had quite a long career, so I've been uh, working professionally in the arts uh, in Tasmania for over 12 years now, uh, prior to that. Uh, a little bit of time out in the real world working, um, came back in to, to study um, a little bit later in life. Mm -hmm. um, I went back to university uh, to un uh, undertake a contemporary arts degree, um, which was wonderful, which led me on to uh, completing an honours degree. Uh, which led me on to completing a Master of Fine Arts degree, which has then led me on to doing a PhD. Right. Um, so I'm still going. Yes, yeah, yeah. yeah. And um, so how old were you when you first chose to go to university? Uh, back to university, I was about 30 years old. Okay. So I'd had a little bit of time out of, um, out of school. I completed year 12 in college and I mm -hmm. took art there and um, then I kind of took a bit of a break and found myself working and mm. doing, always doing little things on the side in the background in the arts. Mm, mm. Um, until I kind of made a decision to go, actually, I, I really want to follow this as a career, as a mm. path to take me through the rest of my life. So yep. made the decision to, to go back to university and I've never looked back since. Yep. So, great. Mm. And so um, what's your art? What, what's the um, discipline that you yeah, sure. um, play um, around in? Yeah, it's funny. I, I, I tried a lot of things. So I've always enjoyed drawing and I've always enjoyed writing and I found myself working into a space that was kind of multidisciplinary mm -hmm. so that I could cross over mediums. So uh, working through photography and working through sculpture um, and working on site-based projects, actually being out in the field and mm. doing things. Um, mm. So what I found was that the arts is actually really, really diverse in what you can do. It's very broad. Mm. Um, so I never really locked myself into one particular yep. thing. It's always been about the project. Yep, yeah. right. So in relation to your role here, what sort of things do you do on a daily basis uh, yeah. here at Launceston College? Yeah, great. Well, when I come in, um, I'm really a support for the teaching program. Um, so I come in and I support the art teachers here um, just in getting materials ready and kind of making sure that everything's right to go for them. Um, work with students to see if they need materials and things like that. So I really do kind of service the needs of the, of the course. Mm -hmm. um, and I really enjoy that. I really enjoy that because I get to see young people and I kind of get to inspire them. And it's great to see the work that's coming through. So I really am kind of just floating around, yep. which is lovely. Um, yep. really enjoy it. In a space that you love. Absolutely, mm. absolutely. And so you were saying before that you've got three different jobs at the moment. I so do. tell us about all the different jobs you've got at the moment. Yeah, okay, so it hasn't always been this way. Yes. Um, I've had um, a career in the commercial arts sector, in the uh, artist run initiative sector, um, and then sort of things change over time and mm. you move within the arts. Mm. And, um, so at the moment I'm working here, which is absolutely yep. fantastic. I'm also working at uh, Newstead College as well, um, helping the, the students down there, which is great. And the art programs at the college level are really, really successful, so mm. that's been great. Mm. And I'm still teaching at university. So I'm teaching first year and second year university units in a thing called critical practices, which is about critical thinking. Right, mm. yep. okay. And curating as well. Curating as well. So yes, on the side, I also yep. work uh, independently, uh, curating a number of things. So I'm, I'm curating shows in the regions this year, so mm -hmm. I'm, I'm undertaking taking a project at Ross this year, one at Deloraine, and also curating uh, the inaugural Disability Arts Festival mm. this year, which is and fantastic. And of course, um, helped out with the curating um, of our Gallows yes, exhibition, absolutely. which opened the other week. Yes, so, um, yeah. yeah, there's always something to do here. Absolutely, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, the Gallows is a fantastic space, an absolutely fantastic space. Um, I'm very fortunate to have it here, I think. Mm. And uh, the last show I curated there was Melissa Smith's show, which is on at the moment. Yep. Um, I love working with the artists to do that, and it was great to have her come in mm. and we discussed it. So, there's a lot of discussion. And, you know, curating is not just putting things on a wall, it's very yep. much working with the artists and, and, and making sense of the space and yep. making sense of the works that go in the space. So yep. it's great. great, and it looks phenomenal. Wonderful. Okay, so thanks, Patrick, and better let you get back to it because uh, there's probably students waiting. There is. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, thanks. thanks very much.